to you by our, our belt, but with his arms stretched out wide. He stood there. All he took was one step. There's a saying that Kasa kept saying at youth camp this year, and I love it. If there were a thousand steps between you and God, a thousand, this is a promise. If there were a thousand steps between you and God, he would run, not walk, but sprint. 999. All you need to do is take one. Stop being complicated. Let's be simple. Don't be different. All you need to do is take one. It's that easy. Let's not make salvation complicated. It's not hard. It's that easy. It's one step. Just one. You wonder how long it took for him to come back home. I can imagine day in and day out. The father probably came to the kitchen window. I like the kitchen. <laughs> probably came to the kitchen window and he looked down the road <coughs> faithfully in the morning, faithfully in the afternoon, faithfully at night. Looking for his son, his heart hurting just as much as the day before. It never calloused. It never got less. The anguish was fresh in his heart. And he would stand at the window faithfully, hoping that his son would take that one step. Just one. But how many mornings and how many afternoons and how many evenings do you miss in prayer, in devotion? God's thoughts are on you 24-7. If I was good at math, I'll tell you the seconds in the day. But I'm not. I'm horrible. I'm taking survey of math this year in college. It's math 101. And I learned how to add. <laughs> but God is crazy about you. Yeah. I can't say to you. Do you know I'm crazy about you? I, I love you guys. You guys have no idea. It sounds old and maybe played out. Maybe you've heard the word love so many times. But after you learn the love of God, just like his heart, it's new every day. It never calluses, it never gets old, but it's fresh. And I freshly love you guys. And the son said to the father, Father, I have sinned against heaven in your sight. And am no longer worthy to be called your son. You know, in Jewish tradition, in the Jewish tradition, it is degrading for an old man to know. Degrading. In fact, it's you don't see old Jewish men running because it's not the culture to learn. But if there was a thousand steps between you and God. A million, whatever it is. He said that he would be like one of the servants. He doesn't have to have all the wealth that he had before. Just being with his father was good enough. And he was ready now to commit his life as a father. The first myth was to admit that you have a problem. How many of you are willing to have a problem? Willing to admit that you have a problem this afternoon? Just admit it. Let's not be complicated, let's keep it simple. I have a problem. In fact, I'm willing to admit it. I have so much pride in my heart that I have to pay to get rid of it. How many of you are willing to admit that? Sure. Not only admit, but admit to God. And say, God, I don't know how I got here, but I know that you're the way. And ready to submit. 
And this afternoon, I'm going to make this appeal to you. It's a recommitment. How many Sabbaths do you miss? Mornings, afternoons, and nights? Do you miss just to say thank you, God? Just say thank you. But this is more specific. I don't want you to stand if you don't want to. But I want to make this appeal to you on devotions. Just a prayer, just a prayer. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. To make that commitment. But first, to be willing to admit that it's hard. And to submit that being hard to God. If you're willing to commit to this this morning, this afternoon, I want to ask you to stand with me and to recommit your life to God. Just through prayer, we can make these steps. It doesn't have to be big steps, but small steps. One step at a time. Amen. Just to recommit in prayer. And say, God. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe you're having financial struggles. Maybe marital struggles. Maybe it's a relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe it's a, your relationship with your parents. Maybe it's a drug problem. Maybe it's, it's something. But just be willing to say, God, I admit it. I have a problem. And Lord, I'm going to submit that to you. How many of you want to commit to that? But I still challenge you today. Don't leave, don't leave church without making that commitment. Maybe it's hard to stand. It's always hard to stand. And if you're not able to stand, I want to ask you to commit it in your heart to try. Just have to. Maybe even tonight. Not only to commit to God, but to first admit and suddenly become it. And as we get ready to sing our closing hymn, uh, my mom is going to close us off with the benediction. And uh, I just want to say again how much I love you guys. And that the level of commitment I'm not even giving up on you guys is hard. And every time I get a chance to speak from the front, I'm going to let you know that I'm committed to you. And I'm not just committed to your physical life, but to your spiritual life. And I'm going to reach to you every moment I get. When I sit there with you, maybe later today, I'm going to seek avenues to your heart through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to pray for you like crazy. And, but even above that, I want you guys to know that maybe later today when you feel like there's, there's no place to go, there's nothing left in your head but the slime. Think that. That other than me, other than your parents, there is someone else who is thinking about you and they're crazy about you. When you think no one's thinking about you, remember God is. In fact, it took someone's life, he was willing to die for you. And there's a favorite song I heard the pastor play earlier today, which was in moments like these. This was like a family song. I remember the song going up when I asked you all to stand up. As we see this before I close the video, instead of the uh, talking to the same moments like this. And let this be your prayer. Just let the Lord know how much He loves you. We all believe in God. We believe that faithfully in the morning, faithfully this afternoon, faithfully in the evening, He's even standing by that kitchen window and He's waiting for you to admit you have a problem, submit it so He can. Fix it. And you can make a recommitment to a better life. And as you see these words, just let the Lord know how much you